Good morning, everyone. All right, let's get defined. It's an exciting morning for this patient. She's gonna have an amazing change. So we're doing an abdominal plasty with some liposuction and we're gonna take some of the fat and we're gonna do some body augmentation with that fat. So I have some lines drawn here, okay? So um, the incision for a tummy tuck, uh, you know, we keep it very low. So during a tummy tuck, we want it tight. Um, so we want it obviously tight here, but we want it tight from the bottom up too. So we actually will pull up this up and you can see how that will lift the pubic area. So we want to make sure that that is tight also because people have kids, you know, they have laxity and that often falls down. And so you want to make sure that that gets pulled up too and this gets pulled down. So this is actually the amount of skin that we're going to remove this section here. And so this skin will have to come down and close everything. So this sep this represents the muscle separation. Obviously, you guys can't feel it, but on palpation, you can feel that separation. And so this represents the sutures that we're going to use to suture everything together. You know, that internal corset that, that you uh, associate with abdominal plasty. And then what we're going to do is we, we got to contour the waistline because we don't, you know, first of all, she doesn't obviously want the, the muffin top, but there's a couple of different ways to approach it. You can take the fat away like this, and from the front view, you can see, yeah, she'll have a waistline, but if you look from the back, I'll turn her around, go ahead and turn around, there you go. You can see that she's still kind of square from the back. So a lot of work is, you know, go towards making her waistline small. And so what we do is we take away all this fat, okay? And even this low sacral fat pad. Now, you may wonder, well, if you do take a lot of fat out from the stomach, the stomach skin would sag. Don't you think the skin back here will sag and make her butt drop more? Actually, no, it's just like the opposite. The skin in the back contract really well. And what that does is it pulls up the buttocks, shrink the waistline, and then the purple marking represent where we're gonna add the fat. She doesn't really want wide hips, you know, what everyone wants nowadays. She wants hers is very proportional. And we're just looking to add volume up top and on the bottom here, something that's very fitting for her. So the work that goes into creating a nice buttock really is a lot of liposuction. Because if you don't really remove all the fat here and have, have a smooth back, nice contour back, small waistline, then you're not gonna have a great buttock. You, you have to have a small waistline to create that volume in the bikes. And so that's the BBL, the Brazilian butt lift, and that involves just a lot of liposuction. And then we take some of that fat and we're gonna probably, she's gonna end up probably around, but it's all said and done, about four or 500 cc of fat in each buttocks. I think she's gonna do fantastic. All right.